Oh, a rousing success. I worried about Tippy being gone so long, but clearly magical events transpired. It has been a while. Thanks to all of you, this town, and indeed all towns, are now safe. Please accept my thanks. Now tell me of Tippy. Have you heard anything about her at all? I see. Where have I? Seems no one has seen Tippy at all. But somehow I can't shake the feeling that she is alive. Yes, alive. Alive and living somewhere happily, I'm sure. Oh, our tale almost seemed to turn sad there for a moment, didn't it? Well, you've been gone so long, there must be many people you still wish to see. Please take your time, I will be at home. Please come by if you feel the urge. Goodbye, my friends. And welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. Last time we saved the world, or more specifically, Count Black and Tippy saved the world with their love. And the pure hearts. Stopping the Chaos Heart and restoring everything that was lost to the void. This time we're just gonna kinda go around and see, see what everyone is up to. First of all, we have uh, our chunks here. Just chilling in town. If you'll actually talk to me. I know you can talk to me. Yeah, where you been, eh? Good to see you're healthy. Count's gone, but I'm still around, aren't I? This would be pretty nice, what with all the peace and whatnot. I like it. Oh, and have you seen Nastasia? She's feeling right down, so I want to take her to eat some saffron's fiddles. But I can't find the last. Yeah. Hey, now, don't go getting the wrong idea, eh? You're just chums. And I like to make the chums feel good and bubbly, eh? That, that's all. Looking at it being sad makes me get all weepy. So, yeah, he is actually really concerned about Nastasia being down after the Count's disappearance, but uh, let's go find her! Now, she's not here, obviously, but where could she be? Well, she's technically closer by and farther away at the same time that, than you might think. If we pop over to Flopside, we can find Nastasia. Conveniently, if I'm not mistaken, in a roughly equivalent spot where our chunks was. So, what are the odds of them just being in the same place but in the opposite world, if I'm not mistaken? Again, I'm going off of 10-year-old memories here. Let's see if I'm right. Is this the right way? There she is. Oh, it's you. Yeah, so uh, long time to see, huh? I guess I owe you one. Lumia was reunited with Lady Timpany, and the world wasn't destroyed after all. I guess I should be happy. I mean, I am, but... I just don't think my heart has fully accepted the fact that he isn't here anymore. Now I understand what it was like when Lumia turned to Count Black. If I have to live on with this feeling always burning inside me, yeah, then maybe there was never any point to that other world. I wonder if this is how I'll spend the remainder of my days. Yeah, maybe I'll learn to smile again look forward to the future. If I can't, then I suppose I could never have matched Lady Timpany anyway. I like her character development as well, because they do sort of imply very subtly that, yeah, she definitely likes the Count. But just could never really match up to Timpany. So, she just sort of quietly helped being at the Count's side and whatnot. It's rather sad, actually. Like, you feel bad for her. So, this is chapter 7, right? So, let us duck into uh, chapter 6 now, because chapter 6 is actually restored. Want to visit the only section, 6 1? Since everything has to be done sequentially, you can't actually jump around between chapters in this case. So, let us check out the Samurai's Kingdom and see what's happening here. And if we go through the door as we did last time, we can find that the tournament is back on. I am known as Jay Blooper, keep of the first. Wait, you are that challenger from before! You fled this land like a crying whelp! 
The hole in the sky is gone, but the challenge stands until a victor is found. If you desire the king's treasure, step forth and challenge my skill. Leave the palace before the hundredth fight ends, and your progress will be lost, and with it your family's honor. Well, guess I'm not uh, holding on to my honor. Uh, <laughs> I mostly just kind of want to show, uh, yeah, that you can actually redo the tournament now, and you can actually do all 100 fights now. We will be doing this at a later time. Hey, look, level up. I am sunk. Your skill is strong. Your master has taught you many ancient techniques. May we cross tentacles again, challenger. Now can we leave? Now we can leave. <laughs> I just wanted to show that, yeah, the world's safe, restored, and we can now do the tournament, which we will be discussing at a later time. That's gonna that's gonna take a few a few parts, because <laughs> that's not short. So our next stop uh, is actually chapter two, specifically chapter two two. So we're back to Merley's mansion. And it's a little bit of a hike, but once we actually enter the mansion, you'll notice some things are actually a little bit different. First of all, uh, we don't have any giant guard dogs. So that's nice. But if we enter this room, we can actually find someone that may look quite familiar. Well, hi there, big welcome. Welcome to Merley's mansion. I'm Lady Merley's handmaid. My name's Mimi. But you can call me Mimikins if you want. Tee <laughs> So, are you surprised or what? Merley hired me on for real this time, yeah. To take care of the place while she's gone. She's usually in flop size, so I just pretend like this whole place is mine. Take a look. I'm turning this place into my own little stable of cutie pies. Uh, okay. It means she seems to be happier than the other two, arguably. Uh, in her own way. And with that, we're heading back to Chapter 7. Yes, you heard me correctly. Chapter 7. Specifically, Chapter 7, 4. Now, this is gonna be a bit of a hike, but uh, I actually did have something I wanted to discuss. After this little exploration, there will be a cut because, uh, you need, like, 999 coins <laughs> for the next thing we're gonna show off. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way to get coins. And a lot of them. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. But yeah, Luigi's also back in the party, I forgot to mention that, but he is now fully in her party, no brainwashing shenanigans from here on out, he's just a permanent member. So it's not too long of a walk, to my knowledge. This is where the Overvader is. This game definitely gives you a lot of coins, you may be thinking to yourself. But actually the game is not too unreasonable, because there's another thing also that requires a ton of coins, like a ridiculous number of coins, on top of 999 for one thing. And yay, hither we are. And yeah, the main difference visually in every world is the void is just gone. I like games with post games, to tell the truth, I kind of dislike uh, that about the first Paper Mario in particular, that there's no, like, post-game, it just ends there. That you can't explore, you can't, like, just explore the castles normal, I think that'd be fun. But I have a feeling in that case it might be a programming thing because of Bowser's Castle and Peach's Castle. Like, maybe they had- they couldn't program everything to work or something, I actually don't know. But in any case, we have reached the end of the over there. Enter the door where the boss was, and we find a bit of a surprise. Greetings, how art thou? Haha, <laughs> thou hast a very confused look on thy countenance. Thou art wondering how I return to life. Well, that is a secret. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Truth be told, I know not, but who careth? I am back. 
but my father has been all over me since my return. They are so clingy. I guess it's my fault for being so cute. Well, without she'd come play whenever. Mother, father, and I are all, always hither. Thou hast done such an amazing job, truly amazing work. Thou hast saved all worlds, now all dost smile again, and love be hath returned. Thou hast fulfilled thy promise, I knew thou wouldst. I owe thee so much. Thou and thy friends are heroes indeed, thank thee. I heard the news and came running, and I saw love be. I could not believe it. It was a miracle. I feel such anguish that we put this child through so much. Now we are going to make up for it all by loving her as much as we can, and we owe it all to you for saving all the worlds. Thank you so very much. Be sure to come see me when your games end, and I'll tip the scales in your favor. So, another miracle. Love B is somehow still around, despite also being a pure heart, so... I, I, they don't really explain it, it's just kind of one of those things that happens. But, uh, yeah, I need to go, uh, farm for coins now. I need 500 coins, so, uh, be right back. It's gonna take a while for me, it's gonna be, like, two seconds for you. And now we're back in Chapter 3. I went ahead and got the 999 coins we need. But, uh, we're back in uh, Francis's castle in Chapter 3, 4, specifically. And let's see what he has to say to us. When I see something super rare, I must own it. But trying to hold a digital butterfly against her will landed me in the hospital. So I'm, um, I think I'm done with that stuff. This time I harnessed my inner nerd to create something beyond high technical. Dying to see it, aren't you? Behold! A masterpiece, a one-to-one -one scale replica of Tippy with real fluttering action. I like to call her Teptron. Hey, that's not my name. I'm Tippy. Did you hear that? She can perfectly replicate Tippy's voice. Tiptron can even flutter. She's pretty much the pinnacle of high technicality. Tiptron earned me the coveted elite neuro status on the Digibutter.neuro forums. Oh, would you by any chance be interested in buying her? I'm saving for Starship X dot issue one, so I'll sell her for just 999 coins. This is a sweet deal on a super rare collectible. What do you say? Buy it. No, I knew you couldn't resist something this high technical. You are now the owner of the only Tiptron in the entire universe. Tippy's robot replica, Tiptron, has joined your party. She looks and talks just like the real Tippy. Well, are you ready to go? So, Tippy and Tiptron both behave identically? In terms of uh, function, which means if we point at the screen, we can tattle things, tattle the door, you should be able to open that door by standing in front of it and pressing the D-pad. However, if we tattle Francis, that's Francis, a chameleon who lives for anime, games, and comics. He may not know a lot about a variety of subjects, but he is a master of geek lore. He constructed me. Constructed me? No. No, I'm Tippy. I wasn't constructed by anyone. So yeah, Tiptron has a little bit of an identity crisis, unfortunately. Thanks to you, every world is safe. We are grateful for your selfless selflessness and courage. At least, that's what I think she would say. So she's kind of self-aware and kind of not. It's kind of confusing. But yeah, that's basically all this ma the major changes to the world. So Tiptron and Toe... By the way, I will actually be going over how I got that many coins, and also how I got that many points since the last uh, time you I like jumped ahead. Uh, but that will come in due time. So with tip that with Tiptron and Toe, we shall next time explore Flipside in its entirety. So thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Super Paper Mario.